Ladies and gentlemen, in front of you, we have two absolutely aesthetic studs competing in today's open class division in the IFBB. And I figured, let me compare these two as I think it will make for a great comparison. Now, when it comes to Rafael Brandeo, I am using his 2020 Europa Pro version because he hasn't competed since then. That is his latest version. He will indeed compete in just a couple of days at the 2021 Prague Pro, so it will be interesting to see what improvements he has made since then. And when it comes to Regan Grimes, his latest version is the 2021 KOEG Pro. But unfortunately, even though he won that show, I couldn't find any contest picks from that show. So I had to settle for the 2021 Legion Sports Fest Pro, where he placed in second behind Sean Clarida. So without further ado, let's get straight to the mandatories. Starting off with the front double biceps and this pose, I think that Rafael Brandeo, he has a slight advantage. They both look great. They both have a good structure. But I think that overall, Rafael Brandeo, he has a slightly tinier waist and also he has better arms in my opinion i feel like regan grimes's biggest weakness is perhaps his arms i don't know at least that's what i would say in my opinion that he needs to improve on the most but overall i would say that easily rafael brandeo has an advantage when it comes to the front double biceps now in the front lat spread it is switched up because here regan grimes he just hits his pose to perfection. I believe that Milo Sarchev coached him on how to hit his pose because in 2020, he did not have the most amazing front last spread. Even though it was decent, Rafael Brandeo could definitely have gone up against him. Now, I don't know how much of Regan Grimes' pose is improvement when it comes to his physique and how much of it is improvement in posing. But either way, posing, it's a part of bodybuilding. And in my opinion... This one is not even close. I think that easily Regan Grimes, he takes his pose. This is an amazing front last spread. Moving on to the side chest. And I'm not a big fan of the way that Rafael Brandeo hits this pose. I feel like the way that Regan Grimes hits it is a much more aesthetically pleasing way to hit the shot. And Marsh Max Muscle, according to him, this... Execution is not ideal for an open class bodybuilder, but I don't know guys. I don't think that the way of hitting the side chest this way takes away that much from their physiques, but I don't know. Still overall, Rafael Brandeo, he has a better chest. It is just bigger and thicker. He has better arms and his legs from the side are also better. So overall, even though this is not a total blowout, I would still say that Rafael Brandeo takes his pose. Same goes for the side triceps for basically the same reason. Perhaps Regan Grimes has a slightly better triceps. It looks a bit meatier, but overall, guys, it's basically the same as the side chest shot. Rafael Brandeo, he's just thicker and better from the side. Now, when we move on to the back shots, I would say that this one is absolutely Regan's pose. Regan, he has a bigger and thicker back, even though he still needs to improve in that area. I think that Rafael Brandeo, he's lagging behind in the back department more than Regan Grimes is. And when you look downstairs at their wheels from the back, I just think it's not even a contest, not even close. Regan's hamstrings are absolutely amazing. One of the best in today's bodybuilding game. So easily Regan takes this pose and... This is even more obvious when we go to the back last spread. I think that the back last spread is an even better shot for Regan Grimes than the back double biceps. And when it comes to Rafael Brandeo, I don't think that the back last spread is impressive as his back double biceps is not that impressive either. He really needs to work on his back and hopefully has made some gains and improvement in his back since last year. But we won't find that out until a couple of days. So using these two versions, I think that easily Regan Grimes takes both back shots. Now when it comes to the abs and thigh, this one is really hard to judge because Regan Grimes, he has a better midsection as far as details and cuts go. But Rafael Brandeo, he has a better waistline and he has a better structure. When it comes to the wheels, it's quite, quite close. So... 
I don't know, guys. Take your pick here. Perhaps I will give a just a slight edge to Rafael Brandeo. But I think this boils down to preference. So take your pick, guys. Now, finally, we come to the most muscular. And again, guys, this one is also really, really close. But overall, I feel like perhaps Regan Grimes has a slight conditioning advantage. I don't know, guys. It might just be the lighting. But... At least personally, I prefer Regan Grimes in this pose. So, who wins this comparison between 2020 Europa Pro version of Rafael Brandeo and 2021 Allegiant Sports Festival Pro version of Regan Grimes? Well, in my opinion, I would say that this one is a really close comparison. Perhaps the closest comparison I've done on my channel thus far. But, overall... I don't think that you can go wrong here, but I would say that Regan Grimes has a slight edge. Now, it will be interesting to see what sort of improvements Rafael Brandeo has been cooking up in the last year where he has not competed. So, after that show, I might do a, another comparison between these two aesthetic studs to see how they stack up with Rafael Brandeo's 2021 version. But... When it comes to this comparison between these two versions, I would say that Regan Grimes has a slight edge. But I can fully see how some of you might disagree. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys agree with me or do you disagree? Do you think that Rafael Brandeo is better than Regan Grimes when it comes to these two versions? That was it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to request a picture comparison, feel free to do so in the comment section below. I love you beautiful ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you guys later.